Hello all, uh, Sarah and Graham channel here. Uh, it's gonna get quiet. It's gonna uh, try to get used to saying that. Um, so this guys is a review, and of course, just uh, to let you know, it's not a movie review, or a candy tasting review, or a TV show review. It uh, it is, however, a drink review. Um. Basically, um, I found a new type of beer. Um, I'm also going to say, basically, disclaimer here, I don't indulge on um, basically telling people to drink. Drinking it is bad, but um, for this case, I am showing you what it looks like, what it tastes like. Just a preference with anyone who likes the type of drink, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and start this. I'm going to go get it now. Alright, so I have four or five basically to taste. I am not drinking all of the can, um, of course. Um, it is a m Monday. I'm in work tomorrow. Um, so I don't want to go in hungover, <laughs> which you should never do in work. But anyway, um, so the first can is called uh, Revolver. So there's the can there, quite cool. I'll crack this open and have it taste. I'll show you what it looks like in the can. So here's my. So that there. So there's the color of it. It's like a um, sunny D kind of color. Smells good. Smells fruity. And it tastes fruity too. Right, so that was a revolver. Um it's quite fruity. It's really nice. If you like type of fruity drinks, um like Copperberg or whatever, that's definitely one drink for you. So we're gonna move on to the next one. This is called Curious Society. Um a mortal game. So it's a bit bigger. It has gosh. So it got a bit of dirt. Five percent alcohol in it. And there's the can. Pretty cool. Got dog of the box. Right, so pour a bit. These might be the same color, I haven't got a clue. So, this one is a bit darker, as you can see. And don't worry about the, these yolks. I was putting on tan on my partner, and I got a bit on my arm. And then, bottoms up. This one isn't as fruity, it is, it's a bit stronger, of course, I think the other one has, let me just check, 4%, so yeah, a little bit stronger, so it's, the revolver was 4%, and this is 5%, so there is Curious Mortal, eh, Curious Society Mortal Game. Alright, so guys, that was Immortal Game, we're going to move on to the next one. Let's just see over here. This is called, it's the same brand, the Curious Society, but this one is called Citra. So, this is, I have a nail Ooh. One sec, guys, just to make sure I didn't spill that anywhere. Right around. It's all good. Alright, this one is another bit of a fruit taste. It's, um, I know that was a bit of a heavier pour, but um, there is this one's a bit more clear as you can see from the bottom. So let's have a taste. It smells fruity. Hmm. Don't know how to feel about that one. It's a curious one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not my favorite. Which one was that? Citra. 
not, not really. It's a bit uh, flatter, I think. Best way to describe it. But uh, yeah, that was a uh, Citra. Right. Next one. So, glasses there. I have three more to tr taste. So this is the third one. One sec, guys. Right, so, oh, just the, um, sorry, the can fall, fall in a bit, to, like, it's falling off, but anyway, um, Curious Society, but this is called Atlantic Tree Pipe, oh, Tree Five Tree. Let's have an L crack at it. Okay. I don't know how to describe the kind of um, no, don't care. No. a little bit orangier. -y. So that's it there. I'm not the best beer pourer, I'm gonna say that for any of you beers or whatever you want to call it. Oh, where you have to till it and then make sure you get the foam and all that meh. But anyway, this one smells a bit more kind of the fruit, fruit, fruity area. Just nice and light. Um, yeah, best way, best way I can describe it is a bit light. So if you had like. Bleh. If you like light fruity drinks, definitely, what was that, the Atlantic, that was, I know it looks darker but it actually tastes quite light. Alright guys, so that was the Atlantic, so the next one is, oh this is a, an official brand, so this one is Larkin's Brewery, pretty good, I, IPA. Let's have a go. Okay, smells fruity. I like fruit in these drinks. <laughs> or, that's the way to describe it, is what I smell is fruit. I'm trying to see. Can't. There's hops in it, but that's uh, water. Barley, wheat. I don't see any type of fruit in it, but I don't know. <laughs> so there's the color of it. And then I'll just a bit of a foam on it. Oh. That's a bit of a stronger one. Jeez. Sorry, one second, guys. Four, five, six point five. Jeez. You can definitely taste the strength in that. Mm. Wow. That is the IPA Larkins beer. Wow. Howdy. And we're back. So, yeah, that was a, uh, Larkins Brewery. Or Larkins, as it's called, IPA. The last one I'm gonna do, um, the, of course, one that I left to last because I'm not really much of a coconut person. I'm just coconut on this one. This is uh, Curious Society Coco. There's the. I have to say these cans. The on the the artwork of it is pretty badass. It's pretty cool. So let's have a. Yeah, crack at it. Okay. Oh. Is that meant to look like that color? I don't know. This one is definitely darker, if so. It's more like a Guinness.
Mm. I can smell the coconut, but I can't taste it. Mm. What number is that? Um, eight. Ah, oh, that's a scout. Or stout? I think it's called a stout. I think stouts are more um, lighter but stronger. But uh, yeah. Let's put that there. So that is um, Larkin's beer tasting. Uh, review, of course. Sorry, it's not just tasting, sorry. Beer. Ugh. Larkin's beer tasting review. Um, I think there could be a couple more. I'll look out and I'll bring it up to the YouTube channel and let you know what I think. I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, beer review tasting. Um, it's something different. I thought I'd just give it a go. And yeah, I hope you guys like it. Give it a th thumbs up and all down below. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And we'll see you guys real soon. Bye.